right, Dad, here's your YouTube video on how to light your ugly drum smoker or UDS. This is the same exact version of yours. It's just a lot uglier than yours. So, the, so it'll work just fine. First thing I want to do is come over here and I've got a little bit of lump charcoal here in the chimney ready to go. That'll be used to start the fire basket when we get there. But our first thing is to get that started. I like using these Weber fire starters, Home Depot, Lowe's, Ace, whatever. Um, doesn't matter. But light the charcoal cube. Make sure you get it going, or the lighter cube. Make sure you get it going good. Let the flame come up a bit before placing the chimney starter on top. This is a large chimney starter, so I'm only using a little bit. And, uh, you do, cause you don't need much to get the fire started. So once the flame's up, you can drop it in there, be able to see inside what's going on. Now, while that's getting ready to go, come into flame, we'll use that to light the charcoal basket. Let's prep the charcoal basket. We'll get the charcoal okay. basket all set up, Dad. Um, we got some oak in here, preset in the bottom. This oak actually is what came from your place. So we're using your oak to do this video, which I thought was pretty cool. So I've got a few chunks just laid out in the bottom. Those aren't gonna light right away, but as the fire progresses and burns down, those will keep producing smoke. So we kind of add it in layers. But I've got um, hardwood lump. This is mesquite in here. You could use oak or whatever, different brands. You can use regular charcoal like Kingsford, but this is what I've been using lately. So I don't want the really big chunks in there. I want smaller stuff, so here we're gonna go pour it in. Too. All this small stuff that would normally I wouldn't burn in like the Weber kettle or something like that is going to work fine in the UDS. And I'm going to pull out these bigger chunks because that's exactly what I like to burn in the kettle or for grilling. So I'm going to pull some of that out of here because this small stuff burns just fine in this basket. more out we don't need a really full basket for this cook because it's not gonna take that long to do what I'm doing and this gives you a general idea of how to set up your box so keeping some of the big stuff out not all of it but I'm kind of making a hollow down here in the center you still want to make sure you got some coverage down there so you get your fire to burn but kind of making a hollow so there's a lot more fuel on the outside than there is in the center because the fire is going to burn down and out as this cook goes on. So I'm going to add a little bit more oak for smoke flavor. I'll put one right in the center so it gets going quick. And that will still be burning by the time the pit comes to temp and the meat gets on. The rest of it I'm going to disperse around the cooker and around the fire basket in some different spots. So as it burns, it will catch some quicker than others. It will burn some later on and some pretty quick. So now that I got that done, we're gonna go ahead and set it in the bottom of the right, smoke. So now we'll just set the whole charcoal basket down in the drum. Kind of centered up. And we're gonna, that's all ready to go until our, uh, the rest of the lit charcoals burning enough to get this whole thing started. But if you look back over here real quick, that type of fire basket leaves a lot of the small chunks that you wouldn't want to burn anyway on the ground after you fill it up. So make sure you put it somewhere like not in the driveway where mom will kill you for All right, it. So this charcoal is just about ready. So take a look at that. And so it's time to go ahead and dump this in the charcoal basket to get the smoker going. So you want to get it nice and centered if you can. Not a lot of room in these things but you can always take a fire poker or a stick or something to kind of get things centered up because you want it to burn down and out so you don't want to start the fire all over you want to start it right in the middle of the pit so now that that's in there we don't have to reach in anymore for the rest of the cook go ahead and put the rods back in good to go I like to let the keep the lid off for five or so minutes until I, the fire starts to kind of get going 
and then put the lid on and when it comes up to temp this one cooks around 305 then it's time to go ahead and put the meat on and enjoy the cooking <laughs>